Understanding the behavior of the Marshall Fire that caused so much loss is top of mind right now for some researchers. It was of key interest to many of us because it happened in our backyard. Janice Cohen is a project scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder. She uses data from weather forecasts and wildfires to create animations like this one of the Cowwood Fire in 2020. These simulations help her understand what factors made fires burn the way they did. And we find that when we include weather simulations at very fine scales and we include these effects of the fire on how they changed the weather, that we can capture the unfolding and the distinctive features people recognize in dozens of large fire events. Her animation of the Marshall Fire captures just how fast it turned from a grass fire to an urban fire, burning home after home. It's driven by our strong downslope windstorm that day. It spread rapidly, reaching Superior in under an hour. And as devastating as the Marshall Fire was, Cohen says an earlier fire north of Boulder could have been worse. The Middle Fork Fire started first, and firefighters got it out pretty fast. This part of the simulation shows if they hadn't. The fire was present in winds that would have driven it uh, into and across northern Longmont. One of Cohen's goals, to help further the technology for forecasting fires and to show what these fires can really do. I think this animation reminds us that we're frequently at risk of fast moving grass fires. Um, we're not just impacted by fires when we live in the forest. Luis de Leon, Nine News. Cohen told us almost every day she hears from technology providers who want to be able to forecast fires. She thinks that within a decade, we should be able to predict in real time where a fire is going to go and how fast.